Believe it or not, I'm actually working on a Camaro. Um, and I figured I would take this uh, opportunity to do a little walk around video. It will be quick uh, with like no details because it would be a four day video if I did details. Uh, if there's anything you want more information on, uh, comment below and I can uh, expand upon it a little bit. So, like, 90% of the fabric has been done on this thing for a long time. Um, and it's been four years waiting for a paint job. Uh, but I think all of the custom body mods and stuff that I've done have scared off uh, potential painters. So, here we are, doing it in my own garage. Uh, it won't be beautiful, but it should look pretty good when it's done. Okay, we'll start with the fiberglass nose from Stinger Fiberglass. Uh, needs work, but it's fiberglass, so the work can be done. The idea is everything will match up just as good as I got the fender here. Some work to do on the uh, hood before I can move forward on that. Um, the wheel flares are from Danko. Those are also fiberglass. They also need work, but we'll make them make them work good. That cardboard is going to be a splitter. Uh, I want to do HDPE. Plywood is the cheaper option. Um, unless it keeps going up, then maybe HDPE will be the cheaper option. Um, same thing for the side splitter. Uh, and I'm also going to work on so a smallish rear diffuser. Um, just to kind of balance out the look. Uh, the side splitter and front splitter should, should definitely help with aerodynamics. The rear diffuser... Probably not a whole hell of a lot, but it's going to need something to kind of match it up from an aesthetics point of view. So this is a four inch cowl hood from Stinger Fiberglass. And I like the way that it's smooth through here. Most of them have like a big, where you can see like a hump here, where the hood is like flat up to that point and then the cowl starts. I like how this is smoothed out better um, than any of the other hoods I've seen. Arrow catch latches. Uh, the, the factory fender vents here, I, uh, I cut up and made these out of steel, so they're pot metal, um, and I made these out of steel, I'm going to use the pot metal as a trim ring, hold on. So the actual pot metal vent that used to be this big, I cut up, and now that part is just a trim ring, basically. But it gives you a nice smooth transition into here. It drove me crazy, this flat spot. Um, was just kind of slapped on the fender and looked like garbage from the factory. The rear bumper is fiberglass from Glass Tech, and I'm still working on it. The majority of the issues with this, though, came from me. So I sliced this thing uh, through here, added two inches to it to kind of give it like a fat ass look because the, uh, the Camaros from the factory, I don't know, the ass just looks too skinny. Um, and uh, adding that two inches in is a lot of extra work. So you can kind of see here where it was added and where this is glassed through. Um, but I think it will be worth it in the end. I got the spoiler fitting like perfect now. That took forever to get just right. Um, they fit like garbage from the factory. What I had to do was lay down some wax paper, lay fiberglass down. You can kind of see the line there. It's like that last eighth inch or so. This fiberglass that I added uh, in order to get these things lined up right. But the fitment on it is really, really good now. Um, and that'll look good once I get my stickers on there. Oof. A little dusty in here. But, so these are hood hinges that I converted from a spring to a strut. Um, these are the fender struts here. I welded this mount on for the arrow catch latch pins. Uh, that is a... What was that? I think it's a How idler arm, uh, an All Star center link. The tie rods are hex leaves from All Star with rod ends on them. Uh, that's an IROC steering box. That is a Lab 14 brace from here to here. Got one of them over here as well. Um, you can see like the washers that are welded in. Those are from Lab 14. I got a whole bunch of stuff from those guys. This hydraulic master cylinder uh, conversion for the clutch 
Uh, that's from ATS originally that I molded that in. The control arms are SPC adjustables for the uppers here. Can't see that super well. I guess you can see a little bit better over here. The lower control arms are Detroit Speed. Those are Viking coilovers in there. Uh, Two-way adjustable. I've got just the adjustable shocks for the back. So that huge sway bar is from Hotchkiss. Uh, that's the hollow one. Uh, one three eighths, I think it is. The core support I cut up and modified uh, in order to fit a third gen radiator. Well, actually, the radiator, third gen aluminum radiator fit anyway. Uh, but that part I had to cut up in order to fit this bar underneath. Um, yeah, you can kind of see it there. So that bar uh, ties together the two front frame horns. Oh, and the other, the other reason I had to modify this thing uh, is because I changed the bushings. I wedged the subframe, so it's got a stock height bushing in the back there. It's got a half-inch drop bushing at the firewall. And actually, they have a half-inch drop bushing up here again now. I had it sitting right on the, core, on the frame before, the core support right on the frame. But I had to keep adjusting that. Uh, because I cut and rewelded the front end uh, when I first did that No bushing was too much bushing at the front here. That's why I ended up modifying it But I modified it further than I needed so anyway I could dial it in uh, just right. Oh Yeah, so I smoothed the firewall uh, And made a third gen steering column fit um, These G braces are from Pro Touring F body uh, and I put a bar in between the two of those. I fab that up. Hey look, you can kind of see in here somewhat. So that hole that we're looking through now uh, is through the fender because I relocated the windshield wiper motor. It used to be sitting about right here. So I relocated that uh, where you can't see it. But uh, I did want to keep wipers because I ran this thing without wipers for a few years and it was a nightmare. Yeah, a little dusty and dirty in here. Uh, this is that third gen Camaro column, which is tilt wheel and it has the cruise control here. That's the main reason I got that. Uh, Cavalier steering wheel actually is decent. Um, this is the huge transmission tunnel I had to make for the six speed. That's where my Holly EFI wiring is going to go through. Um, that is the T56 shifter hole now. Uh, stock console mounts. <laughs> I had to do like some uh, J clips or something for that for the fourth gen. Camaro console that's going in. That's also a fourth gen Camaro e-brake uh, that I ran the cables for. This <laughs> this looks a little ugly back here um, because I put the rear end through the back seat at one point so that was a little patch for that. Um, I closed off the back with some Dynamat type stuff. I think it's a second skin audio sound deadening. Um, and then the whole Whole inside here and a bunch of the bottom side got lizard skin heat and sound control spray uh, and then on the underside I did that and I also did Raptor liner you can probably see it here it's a decent decent coating but yeah fourth gen Camaro leather seats as well put a picture in there because it looks so great at the moment Here's a little bit better look at the control arms. Use the SPC uppers, Hotchkiss bar, Viking coilovers, DSE lower arms. And I don't have the rotors and calipers on right now, but there's the adapter bracket for the C5, C6 brakes. This is running the 13.4 uh, Z51 rotor in the front and then a 13.4 Z06 rotor in the back. And here's the bullet. This is a fully forged 383. Uh, it's got all scat guts in it. Uh, Edelbrock roller cam. I can't remember who actually makes the cams for Edelbrock, but it's a 238 to 050, 585 lift of 1.6 rockers. Um, I'm doing Holly EFI with it. Uh, they got 36 pound injectors or 42s? I, can't I think I got 42s. Um, 1000 CFM throttle body. That's an Edelbrock throttle body. Uh, it's a China Hurricane intake manifold, uh, but it's the tallest, longest runner uh, single-plane EFI manifold that I could find. Uh, 
Aluminum metal block cover. Uh, that's the Type 2 power steering pump bracket. I've got an electric water pump for it. I had a lot of this stuff in my 355 small block that was in it before. Um, and uh, I can't wait to hear this thing run. It's 11.1 uh, to 1 compression ratio. Uh, and with that cam and the Spintech mufflers that I got, it should sound nasty. Uh, estimated horsepower on this thing, according to some things I've seen online and like desktop dyno or whatever, uh, should be about 550 horse uh, NA. And then with a forged bottom end, I'm definitely going to spray it. Uh, haven't played with nitrous yet. This will be the perfect engine for it. And then here's the rest of it on the shelf. Uh, got some long tubes that I chopped down for better ground clearance. Uh, I got a three inch X pipe exhaust. Um, yes, T56, six speed manual uh, with the quick time bell housing. Um, Cause I'm gonna do a ton of clutch dumps and be an asshole with it. Uh, what else? Here's our type two power steering pump that I was just talking about. Uh, the third gen aluminum radiator. Uh, here's my modified cross member to fit the six speed um, there is the clutch hydraulics for the T56 in there, 100 amp uh, alternator, let's see, braided brake hoses, some vents, blah, blah, blah. Um, I mean, absolute ton of stuff. Half a car on the shelf here. Crank pulley, V-bands, uh, grills, headlight buckets, um, electric fan. This is out of some Volvo. Uh, I'll have to look back and see what it actually was. It works really good. Um, I got all my wiring in here. Uh, that's a Willwood manual brake master cylinder. This is all the uh, Holly EFI stuff in there. Um, oh, this is going to be my cruise control uh, cable along with my throttle cable. This Canton uh, oil pan has a Trap door and baffles and all that kind of stuff for road race and autocross, that type of deal. Um, there's the tail lights I'm gonna modify. Um, so this is the Tanks Inc. fuel tank um, for the EFI. I've got a 255 HP pump for that. I may throw a 340 in there and use the 255 in the uh, 48 LS build. So it's an eight and a half, 10 bolt with Moser guts, uh, Hotchkiss bar back here too, uh, Corvette brakes back here also. I've got the slide link traction bars. Um, those are pretty decent. Uh, these are Pro Touring F body leaf springs that have the, uh, the leaves kind of clustered in the front more than the back. It helps with axle hop. Uh, they're real heavy duty shackles here. I'm actually gonna chop the bottom hole out of those because I don't need the adjustability part. Um, so it's a dual three inch exhaust to the mufflers and then two and a half back past that. The further you get from the engine, the less diameter you need. Um, Alston, uh, yeah, what do you call them? Subframe connectors uh, welded in in a few spots. Um, I've got uh, some sledgehammer mods to make the exhaust tuck up really nice. Uh, I don't know if you can, I guess you can kind of see here the exhaust tucks up really nice. Uh, fuel tank going to end up through here. Um, I did modify the back bumper or two a little bit for my kill switch is going right here. So the kill switch is going to be through the license plate part. I did that before. Um, better view of the traction bars, welded to the cross brace on the floor, welded back into the rear uh, frame rail of the unibody, slide link bars, and then up here, you can't really see because it's moved up even further, but I did the Herb Adams mod on the leaf spring hangers uh, for better anti-squat. So like I said, there's probably a ton of stuff uh, that I've forgotten about this. Um, uh, yeah, so there's the coolant reservoir catch overflow. I also am doing a, the catch can for venting uh, rather than doing PCV. Um, and if I keep thinking, I will keep talking forever, so I won't bore you with that. Um, but there, uh, there's a ton of stuff on this. Um, 
it'd be nice to see it all finally go in the car off the shelf uh, and you can uh, watch as it goes together and uh, it will be really nice to dump the clutch on this thing for the first time once it's back together. Uh, it has been nine years since I tore it all apart. Uh, it was originally going to be just a paint job and engine build. Um, turned into a full-blown rotisserie, suspension build. Uh, ton, ton of stuff. But uh, if there's anything here that really piqued your interest, um, drop a comment below. I can give you some more information on uh, whatever you're interested in. Um, and, uh, even if you don't comment, all the stuff will end up back in here at some point and I can cover it then.